Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Brave New World Blindfolded. Uh, in this episode, I'm going to be taking on the Battle of Narsh. And just to keep things interesting, I know BTB was saying that uh, he intended kind of for people to try and fight everything because uh, that's why they're giving a lot of gil. So I suppose I'll go and try to fight everything then. Alright, so let's swap to Edgar. Besides, I can't say no to the gil. And it's not training at all because I'm not getting EXP. Though I suppose that's not exactly the reason why everybody else is neglecting <laughs> to, to fight these... would have neglected to fight them. <laughs> I think they'd be more concerned about the Esper bonuses and not trying to overlevel. But... Equip. Mithril thing. Mithril bolo. I kind of don't have a lot for Edgar, and I'm too lazy to figure it all out, so yeah, he's getting crud. Equip. This, two slots down. Edgar's kind of like the MVP for this fight. I could give this less the magic cube, but what would be the point? Because she'd have 50% more MP, and I wouldn't be actually able to heal up the 50% oh no wait never mind I think I get rehealed before the battle I'm not 100% sure on that though um cyan but either way Edgar is the one who I want to stack alright now you're probably wondering what I'm doing putting cyan of all people in the back row Oops. that's not what I wanted to do Relic, Cyan, and removing the life bell. I'll explain the bit. One, two, this should be Sabin. Hello, Sabin. I'll rock you up. Equip. Sprint shoes, life bell. Alright, so basically what I'm doing, uh, Cyan can actually accomplish just about anything I want him to with his dispatch in the back row. He can take out a private, I think they're called in one hit, so I don't really need to stick him in the front to do extra overkill damage. I might as well just give him the safety. Also, he's getting the sprint shoes because he's going to be kind of like my uh, healer for the fights where I can't open the menu between... I'll mention more on that later, but, I uh, so that's handy, and I, I'd prefer it if him and Sabin's preempted Edgar, because I would want the soldiers' counterattacks to be spread out, and if Edgar bioblasters them all at the very start, he's, he might eat four bayonet counters, it's not very likely he'll eat all four, but he might, and I don't want him to end up dying because I neglected to be careful about it, so... I, I prefer Cyan and Sabin to eat some of the counters. Cyan's in the back row, Sabin's got uh, the life bell, so the both of them should be fine too. Celeste is going to be mostly runicking, and then uh, using the MP to make sure I don't have to waste in a whole lot of dried meats. So that's the plan anyway. And I know how well the plan usually turns out. If this equipping segment got botched up, I'll probably just uh, redo it with uh, off camera. Oh right, and it did get botched up because I kind of forgot to equip Celeste with her relics. Might as well do it on camera though, considering I'm already here. Celeste, equip. Star Pendant, and Nightscape. So there we go, now, now I should be good. Alright, so hopefully onto the segment.
the actual part of the segment. I just don't want to... I'll just double check that I'm good on that, the equipment regard. Alright, so how... oh yeah, right. So, uh, I, I ended up messing up Cyan somewhat. Forgot what I was supposed to do there, so I went. I ended up making a grievous error. So I just corrected that off screen, no big deal. Alright, so Terra can go there. Thankfully, I get a clear indicator when I've reached the edge of the menu, and the characters happen to be in the exact same order they are usually when they're uh, when you're hacking. So I already know that order, so it's easy to remember. Terra, Locke, Cyan, uh, Edgar would be next. Not that it really matters, as long as I don't mix up where Celeste is. Terra, Locke, Cyan, Edgar, Sabin. Terra, Edgar, Terra, Lock, Terra, Lock, Cyan, Edgar, Sabin, Celeste. And now, Gao isn't in a very convenient spot in the menu. Uh, it's important that Celeste is in the lead here because, uh, for some reason, I don't know what it is, but right now, the way I've got it set up, the player in the lead will always be on controller 1, and everyone else is on controller 2, and I want Celeste to be alone that's separate from everyone else for various reasons. So, uh, the thing is, I don't have to go and guard every single entrance. The I can actually wall this entire army just by standing directly in front of Bannon. The only, the only downside to this, I, yeah, I, I should know from my LLG that this is the part where it, uh, I can start moving, but the the important thing to know is that if I open my menu at the wrong time, the soldiers will actually sense Bannon before they sense me. So I've noted down on this handy piece of paper right here when I can go into the menu and when I can't. I can usually go into the menu, but for the times that I don't, the, for the times that I'm not able to, I switch up my strategy a little. What? Oh right, <laughs> that, that was Terra dying. All right, I forgot about that. So this is Celeste. She'll be runicking constantly. Oh wow! On second thought, maybe putting Cyan on a different trigger from the other character. I mean, the same trigger as Sabin was a bad idea. Unlike in vanilla, I can't input the blitz in time, so I, I've I've got to just hope he uses dispatch if I. That's not good. Okay, yeah, he he used dispatch there. Hopefully, I'll be able to continue with that pattern. Inputting it, let it skip mind blow once, and uh, trigger dispatch in the same amount of time as it would take me to do a blitz input. Alright, let's just mark it down on my sheet here. Probably don't need to pause it. Probably have plenty of time. Alright, now why did it make that noise? Am I on the save option? Skills. S Celeste is at the top. Is the cursor still in Celeste? Probably. I 
don't think I took any hits, did I? Oh, shit. Oh, hi. Alright, uh... So yeah, I don't think I took any hits on my end. Either that or I messed up the healing, which I may have done as well. The second thought, that's exactly what it would have done if... Huh? Oh, right. Oh, this is lock. Yeah. So let's steal. <laughs> Maybe rip them off a of dried meat or something. Uh, sounds like he's just gonna be dead. Okay. Now the strange thing is my recursor sets after I change parties like that, so... Um, isn't something supposed to happen? Okay, there we go. <laughs> Alright, exit that one, exit that one. I don't want to go out of too many menus, so... Alright, there we go, that, that's Celeste's magic menu, good. Got that worked out. Alright, so I've defeated two battles so far. Now this is actually, surprisingly, the hardest part of the entire thing, well, in, in the hardest part of the standard battles anyway. I have to go three in a row here without stopping, which means if uh, Edgar gets bayoneted too many times in a row, I... I mean, I guess I could eat a death, but... It's best if Celeste gets a few haste twos on her. Alright, there's the first. I can't break here. Oh, whoops, I messed that up. I was supposed. Oh, yeah, but Edgar hasn't been bayoneted, so it really makes no difference. I would have liked to runic that, but Celeste's turn didn't come up fast enough. Oh, yeah, now that I can't tell who Cyan is. Yeah, it's gonna be hard to heal Edgar properly. Well, that's gonna make this slightly more luck reliant, but. Oh, yeah, I should still pull through. Eh, no bayonets at all there either. Four battles done. The, the thing is, uh, during my test run I was like, Oh, uh, it would be so much better to have Celeste on her own turn without really thinking of the consequences of that. Nice. Good. That'll replenish her whole 5 MP I suppose she's used by now. And that's that for that one. Now Edgar eats the... Now Edgar eats two bayonets, but I should be fine. Um... 
Hang on, what? Shouldn't Celeste have been able to heal there? I should still be on Celeste, right? I'm just gonna wait for this fight. I don't know how long it is, so I might open the menu at the wrong time and get banned and murdered for it. Uh, it turns out I had plenty of time. Oh well. I don't like this. I suppose I could have her cure in battle too, if it makes me feel better, but... It was dead? One second, let's mark this down. Alright. I didn't think it would die. Nice. So let's, well, it doesn't really matter considering how bad I'm messing up my healing and then crud, I just used Mind Blow. Alright, the battle's over, so I'll mark it in here. I swear, what's going on? I've definitely taken hits by this point. I exited the whole thing. How did my cursor get off Celeste anyhow? I need to heal at some point. Yeah, Gare's dead. I really gotta get on this. figure out what I'm doing. It's hard not being able to exit out of the entire menu. Alright, Phoenix Sounds should be here. So I guess there. Exit this screen. Exit that. It doesn't come nat too naturally going the other way. I don't get it. Why can't I heal with Celeste? What am I doing wrong? She's got plenty of MP, she should. There we go. Finally. What did I do there? 
How did I get her cursor so far off? I guess I'll figure it out in the recording, but... I hope that I marked that battle down. I think I did. Well, that'll cost me a phoenix down anyway, but... Hey, I got I, all my healing spells uh, cure tuned back up straight away, so I mean case tuned right back up straight away, so Alright. Okay. Straight into another fight. That makes me worried that I messed that up. Did I get really get a turn off first? Uh, whoops. Okay, Edgar didn't get a turn off first. I must have had Sabin on item by accident. Yeah, I, I, I knocked the control stick to the side at the end of the last battle, which is kind of annoying, but... Well, at least that time it seemed like I got here off. Was I not hurt though? No, someone got tech armed or whatever the move is called. Thank goodness for Edgar making up for my inability to heal. <laughs> Let's double check using dried meat set. Yeah, it appears that I'm doing... that I'm not getting hit. I swear I keep hearing myself getting hit though. I don't want to suddenly die because all my characters were at 2 HP. Okay, battle's still going. Battle's not going. Alright, so I should be in the item menu still, so one back out, two back out. Yeah, I suppose I need to find Celeste again.
I'm not sure how her cursor keeps ending up back down there, but at least I knew how to deal with it this time. I'm getting closer anyway. It's funny how my all my struggles here are coming from healing. Like, the battles themselves are really straightforward and simple, but then I keep messing up trying to heal myself over and over again. <laughs> I created that last problem for myself, for sure though, because uh, I went into the item menu and started panicking about stuff. I did. Oh, maybe, uh... okay, I think that arm must have been c used on Confuse. I'll trust the menu this time. <laughs> oh, or it's possible it was used on Sabin, he just got healed up. But his life fell. Huh, well, see ya. Still no more healing. I was kind of ex I had to heal a lot more than this last time, let me tell you. And I, that was with my eyes open because it was a test run, and I was healing like every single fight, but... I don't know, I guess I'm just lucky this time. And I wasn't messing up horribly. <laughs> But that's only to be expected. If I was gonna get everything on the first shot, a blindfolded playthrough wouldn't be that interesting anyway. <laughs> I'll just have Celeste's cooler jets for a bit. After this next battle, there's a really, really huge break in the the action, I'm pretty sure. I got into that fight before I opened. Oh yeah, there, there was one fight that was really, really close, and I wasn't sure whether I'd want to open the menu there. But I guess forgetting works too. I think Slush just got another magic boost, so... I guess I'll runic again, probably no big reason to do that, considering Edgar's just gonna wipe him now. One more opportunity to heal, and then the next one's bad. After that, I'm home free. Still don't need healing? How long have I gone without healing? Okay, here's the part where I wait 10 years for the next two soldiers to come, and then they happen to come up at the exact same moment, which means I can't go into the <laughs> menu. That, that, that's this game for you. Trolls at the wazoo. I'm not even holding my controller right now, because that's how long I've got. Why do I always input Celeste? I mean, input Suplex. <laughs> input Celeste. Input Suplex on Celeste's turn. Yeah, I, I definitely took a hit there. If I if I don't, well, then again, it could still be just all hits on Seven. Seven could just be the hit magnet, and 
Either way, I can't heal this battle, so no menu for me. It appears that Gar got bayoneted. It was only once though, so I should be good. My original plan was to have Cyan heal a whole bunch, but that went out the wazoo when I started messing everything up. <laughs> For a second I was thinking, oh no, did I mess up and let Edgar die, but I'm probably just overreacting again. I do that a lot, tend to think about every possible outcome when sometimes it's ridiculous. Okay. Hang on, what? Stop having your cursor randomly fly all over the place. I don't know why that happens. <laughs> Maybe I'll figure it out when I watch it with my eyes open. But for the life of me, I do not understand that at all. Four battles left, and I can take a break after all of them. Every time it gets to these parts of the song, I keep starting to think about my LLG route. Eat fumes. Oh, that's a thing. Still, I'm putting suplex on Celeste's turn. <laughs> Everyone's suplex! It's like Mega 64's LP. Is Cyan dead? I haven't heard a dispatch for a while. Yeah, I'm really starting to think science dead. I have to wonder how long he was dead for. How long I, that I managed to go unnoticed for. How did that happen anyway? Did he get blitz all at once, or...? Alright. Trying not to mess this up. How is this? I swear, Kira is not doing anything for some reason. I don't get this. I multi-target the spell, and Cyan should be mostly dead. Oh, and the lights just went out. One second.
Okay, I swear science still isn't there. Maybe I messed up and used the wrong item on him somehow. I've only got like... One more battle left. I swear, I keep using a phoenix down, reviving him, and not being able to kill him. I, I have a feeling I'm doing stuff way off course here, but... Where in the world is Cyan Garamond? I have one fight left, though. One fight to test if he's there before a ride, or otherwise things are more likely to get hairy. Good. I have all my characters on their feet. What's going on here? None of this is making any sense. I've been playing for like the last half an hour without having any clue what I'm doing. Skills. Wasn't I looking at the... Oh wait, maybe I'm pressing L and R which is causing the menu to shift down. That would explain some of the problems I'm having. The rest of the explanation is I'm just being an idiot. At least this, since that was the last battle, I can now exit out of my menu entirely. There we go, lots of healing. Maybe I should even double check if no one if somebody died. Good. Alright, my original plan was to put Cyan in the front row, but I don't know where Cyan is, so I'm just gonna not do that. Let's see if I can do this with musical cues. Around the bend. All the way right. All the way right again. Now normally I dip into the alcove to the bottom right here, but I can skip that. Oh no no no. There we go, encountered the rider. This battle's most of the reason why I wanted Celeste on the other controller, because, uh... Oops, this is Sabin. Because, uh, 
I, I want to know when Celeste's turn is so that I can skip to the other characters easily enough. That, w that way I can use her for curing and... Got to use science turn there. Not that it makes a huge difference considering he's in the back row. He still hasn't used uh, Varite yet, so that's a good sign anyway. Oh, he's dead. Sweet! Easy rider fight. On my first test run, it was actually far harder because, even with my eyes open, because he spammed right every single turn, I think. Alright, so... I'm not in the menu I think I'm in. There's save. You know what? No. I'm just gonna heal it with dried beads. Or not. He never even touched me. Or maybe I'm doing the same mistake I've probably been doing this entire segment. Hello, Kafka. Can you die, please? Just die. I'm not gonna use the unreliable lock strat. Seems like a mistake. Oops. I, I accidentally used Suplex. I meant to start out with Pummel to give him Seizure. With Slus runicking every turn, he usually can't kill me, I'm pretty sure. So that's a plus. <laughs> You're probably Cyan, so I'm not gonna... There we go, I got my pummel off. Thank goodness for Celeste, she kicks butt in this battle. Forget Sabin, forget Cyan, Celeste is the real champion here. I, he hasn't used a spell since I runicked, I'm pretty sure. I think I beat him. Nope. <laughs> I was just thinking because nothing happened, but I was in a menu, I think. Or was I? Yeah, Gar might be... Okay, no, he's not dead. I'm fine. Well, nothing in too catastrophic happened this segment, so... <laughs> I made it through, and at any rate. It's gonna be super long, but I made it through. Other than the fact that I didn't actually fail, it was a complete disaster, but... <laughs> I'll take a complete disaster if I still win and don't end up throwing away a million supplies. In fact, it wasn't a complete disaster, it was just a complete disaster in terms of skill. I actually got pretty lucky with... I wonder if Celeste was out of MP for some of that, which might have been giving me problems. I don't really know. I'll have to definitely take a look at that and see what in the world was actually going on this entire time. 
because I've been lost pretty much, but I've been... I, I made it through because this part isn't too difficult and... My strategy was pretty good. The planning I could do beforehand was pretty good. Just not anything I did. Oh well, at least I didn't attack myself. I hope. <laughs> Goodbye, Terra. My legs are falling asleep from sitting in this position <laughs> for so long. I'm really worried that maybe my recorder crashed, because it does that sometimes. Just hurry up and fly away, Terra. I want to make sure I can put this, set this segment to bed, because it's so long. I'm so glad the NPCs can't get in my way here. And by NPCs, I mostly mean my PCs, but... Hurry it up. Stop talking. I should probably have practiced this bit before I did it again today. I did the LLG segment another day, so... Back to... Yep, made it out there just fine. Well, unless I somehow ran out the door I came in. Back to again. The good thing about this route is that none of the NPCs can actually get in my way. No matter where they happen to be in their walking cycles. One, two, three. Should be out of here by now. Dang it, I'm gonna have to resort to doing random stuff until I run into something. Narsh is so complicated, I could get stuck here for ages. Ages longer than it's already been, of course. Or that could happen. Thank goodness. Yeah, that's a good way to cap off a segment where I don't know where I am in my menus by going into the config menu to save. Okay, see you next time. <laughs>